Hello everyone, this is Naya Tarrants and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn together on how to awaken and improve your psychic abilities. This video is for all of you guys. It doesn't matter the level that you are. If you're already, your third eye is open. If you don't see auras or energy fields in this video, I'm going to cover all the information to awaken your psychic gifts. And by the end of this video, you're going to have tools and for sure, you're going to improve your abilities. If you're interested in this video, just keep on watching. All right, a bit of backstory here. I was born with psychic abilities, like I stated all the time in my videos, in the sense that I think I was born remembering who I was, which is a multidimensional being having a human experience. And personally, I think that a lot of children remember who they are. Some children have more psychic abilities innate in them, some others a bit less, but a lot of them have them. And so that means that you have them too. All of us have psychic abilities. The thing that it's different when we grow up is that, for example, when I was talking to my parents or in my environment about the fact that I could see things through my dreams, I had visions, I could see like beings and angels, so or sometimes even past, um, you know, death people and experiences like that. My parents were always very open, they were asking me questions, but never shut down these capacities. So what happens among a lot of children is that this societies or their environment doesn't support those ideas and so obviously the little kid finds itself wondering if they're even true or not it's like most of the time children say I have an imaginary friends but little parents they know that that imaginary friends could actually be an angels or a light beings and so obviously these capacities are shut down through the ears because of the environments and the societies we're in which is obviously very skeptical and being skeptical is good because it makes us discern through fraudulent people and to what is true what is true but one thing is sure is that each and every of us can improve their psychic abilities and even if some are born with innate capacities all of us can improve them and so the question here is how can I improve my psychic abilities a lot of you guys stick into the tarots already but some of you are some of you always ask me things like I don't see auras I don't see energy fields how can I connect with my spirit guides how can I do my the tarots myself and I think these are really legit questions that needs to be answered so one of the major thing to awaken your psychic abilities is talking about the third eye. The third eye chakra is nothing but the pineal gland. What is the pineal gland? The pineal gland produces melatonin, which is a serotonin derived hormone which contributes to modulate the sleep patterns and circulations and cycles. But not only that, the pineal gland is considered as the third eye or better our first eye since ancient Egyptian culture since uh, since ancient culture sorry even for the ancient Egyptian the door to our highest consciousness the door for clairvoyance the door for connecting to the divine in fact the third eye is connected as well to the crown chakra which is our highest chakra and it's actually the chakra that connects us the most with the divine but with the third eye we can surely embrace our psychic abilities we can see beyond the veil of maya beyond the veil of illusion but so this gland not only uh, help us and contributes to our sleeping patterns and produce melatonin, but produce a psychedelic substance well known as DMT. DMT is one of the most psychedelic substance in the world known to man and so it provides this vision and some scientists have studied that DMT is released by the pineal gland through nearly death experiences and so as you can notice is really a door to consciousness and to awaken our psychic gift. But what happens, not only we are influenced since we are children by our environment, like I mentioned before, but through substances and toxic substances around us or things that are not very healthy for our body, the pineal gland can get calcified. 
what happens when the pineal gland get, get calcified? DMT is less and less produced. And so obviously our psychic abilities drop and we don't see a damn thing. And so that's why most of you guys say, I don't see auras. I don't even know what you're talking about. And that's totally fair. That cannot happen if your pineal gland is still calcified. Now, some psychic, like I said before, are born without not even caring if their pineal gland is calcified or not. But I think that's a sole choice and it's just the way it is. Some people learn faster or are born with certain gift. Like I can mention singing, for example. Some people can sing and some people cannot sing. But it's just the way it is. But we can improve and detoxify the pineal gland and so improve our psychic abilities. So here comes the point. Why the pineal gland is calcified? The pineal gland is calcified and blocked because of toxic substances in our environment uh, through the food and through a substance called fluoride. Fluoride is, uh, can be found in toothpaste, for example, or in tap water. And uh, a lot a diet that is poor, for example, a lot of stress in the environment, wireless devices like mobile phone and the excess use of mobile phone can contribute to the calcification of the pineal gland. So how do we unlock and decalcify the, the pineal gland? We go through a detox period where we don't drink, for example, tap water. We try to drink mineral water that is pure. We try to use less and less or avoid completely sugar. Put in our table only food that is organic and not laced with pesticides that can contribute to an unhealthy body and most of all to the uh, toxifying of the pineal gland. We try to sleep with our devices off or in sleeping mode, even our router for example, because through our dreams, and I'm going to explain it later, our conscious minds drop and we can totally start to tap into our psychic abilities and then we are very careful about not getting too stressed even though I understand that it's very difficult or use toothpaste that doesn't contain fluoride one of the things that not a lot of people mention about detoxifying yourself is that it's not only through food, but as a cosmetologist, I know that 90% of the things that we put on our skin get us, that gets absorbed by our body. So girls and boys who use makeup and skincare, please be very careful what you put on your skin. Try to uh, avoid harsh ingredients and chemicals. Try to choose only brands that not only, I mean, that's my perspective, don't test on animals but have safe ingredients and most likely organic ingredients there are a lot of Italian brands that are organic American brands too and most of the Korean brands right now are very well formulated and with a lot of organic natural ingredients that surely help us be more healthy and have healthier skin but most most of all help us detoxify and detoxify the pineal gland so after doing this detoxification, which should, I think will last probably around one, two months, maximum three months, you started to really have a much more healthier lifestyle that everybody's different, so it's going to be different for you, we can pretty much say that the pineal gland is getting detoxified. So what happens when uh, our pineal gland is finally free? we can start to open our third eye. And these are the juicy stuff that you guys all wanted to know. How we open our third eye? We can open our third eye through meditation, for example. And when I mean meditation, it doesn't have to be like I always say necessarily that you stay in a room and you do um and you concentrate on a divine source. Meditation can be unique for you and suited for you in the sense that many people uh, can practice mindfulness. So it's about shutting your thoughts and really connecting through your heart chakra to who you really are, to your soul and higher consciousness. You can so practice guided meditation to open your third eye. Internet is full of them and they are very safe to use. You can connect with nature and ground yourself and you can do a sport that you truly like and so you shut down your mind walking or um, walking even with some music on but practice this mindfulness every day and connecting to a higher soul and using less and less our mobile phone surely will open your third eye 
But before we do any meditation, remember that we have to put an intention. So it doesn't matter how you practice meditation, the, but before you do a meditation, please put the intention, spirit guides, light beings and angel, help me seeing you, help me open my psychic abilities in third eye. And I promise you, they are going to answer you and you are going to develop more and more your inner intuition. Because opening your third eye is not simply the practice of meditation and connect with you with yourself, but another thing is paying attention to who you are and what you're feeling. So you can practice that through having a dream journal, for example. Dream journal is one of the things that I started when I was a child because I was currently having a lot of uh, visions in my dreams and things that were happening in the future. And so I went to my mom and dad and said, why do I see things that, that happen in the future through my dreams? And they were saying, because in your dreams, your conscious mind drops and you finally can tap into a greater source. So one of the useful things is keeping a journal and analyzing your dreams. Not only that will improve and awaken your psychic ability, but will be very very useful for you to understand who you truly are and understanding and trusting yourself. Trust is the third uh, thing that is very important to awaken your psychic abilities because like I said before being skeptical it's okay it's healthy sometimes but you gotta trust in something you gotta trust in the divine in this greater consciousness but most of all you gotta trust yourself. So instead of asking millions of psychic what do they think about a particular situation, starting to awaken your psychic abilities will help you discern of what is good and right for you and what is not. You will start to maybe hear some thoughts, that's clear audience, see some vision, that's clairvoyant, or both of them, or feel something. It doesn't matter how your psychic ability develops for you, but the more you're going to trust the process and trust yourself, the more you're going to see results. And now let's skip to the fun part and the exercise that I want to show you on how to start to see auras and energy fields because that is something that I think is very practical and very easy to do and also very fun to do. So as many of you know, to awaken the psychic abilities before, uh, after dreams and uh, dream journal and even before tarot cards, uh, one tool is to read auras or energy fields. Energy fields is nothing but the visible vibration around our bodies and around everything in existence. If you are already a bit psychic, you know that these auras and energy fields are around everything and you can totally see it. Now, the aura set is basically this energy field colored around the person. The color can change and the auras can tell us how the person feels according to the color. There are some scheme on you, uh, there are some uh, ta tables, can you say that, on YouTube to discern the various color. And so this aura tells us a lot about the person. And for example, if you're doing a tarot reading with a photo or uh, in front of a person, analyzing this energy field can be so useful to the reading. Now, the energy field is around us. And again, it's colored called aura and it moves in a particular way which is something that I don't hear a lot from people but since I have studied the way I see the energy fields around people since I was a child I noticed that the way it moves it tells me the way the person feels and sometimes what they are generally thinking for example, I noticed that if you see around an energy field that it's very close to the body, we can totally say that the person is unsatisfied or feeling very stressful. The more the energy field, and I'm not mentioning the color, but the movement, the more the energy field grows from the body, the more this person is connected to the higher self and higher consciousness and it feel, it is feeling in a vibrational love and peace. Again, I can do a totally different video on to discern the various movements of energy field for what is my research and the colors and the various colors of the auras but for this exercise here is what you need to do even maybe if your pineal gland is calcified you're gonna struggle a little bit but let's try anyway so 
This exercise, you can try it with me on camera or you can invite a friend over. What you need to do is place this person in a stable background. It would be better if it would be like white or neutral, but in this case, let's try it this way. And you have to concentrate on my forehead. Try to imagine a dot in my forehead. And what you need to do is lose and lose focus the more and more and more until you're gonna see my image very unfocused what most likely you are about to see in a couple of seconds is a aura an energy field something around my body concentrate and lose focus of your eyes losing focus is the key here and now tell me what color do you see around my aura Comment down below to tell me what color do you see and I'm gonna answer to those people who actually guessed it right. Also, tell me if you see any movement around my body. To try to, uh, uh, to do this exercise also through the movement of the energy field. Again, comment down below. I'm gonna reply to the people that guessed it right. And you can practice this exercise with your friends, like I said before, the more and more and more. And that is a way to awaken your psychic abilities. The colors of the auras are many. You could possibly see red, that is linked to our lower chakras. You can see yellow, you can see green, you can see blue, and you can see purple, and even muddy colors of this range. Again, practice, practice, practice. Other things to awaken your psychic abilities will be also the use of tarot, and especially if you're a beginner of oracle cards, and connect the more and more with the divine and asking for signs and synchronicities to confirm that what you're seeing is not you going crazy, but you're actually seeing something that is real and tangible. Again, if you want more videos like this where I teach you how to use the tarot, how to read the energy fields, and more spiritual videos, again, comment down below and I would love to do them. This is all for this video and I hope you have now the information and the tools to awaken your third eye and improve your psychic abilities. Again, practice, practice, practice. I can do it, you can do it too. And again, thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't already and if you want to see more videos and horoscope and tarots and all that is about spirituality. Again, you're never wrong if you follow love. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.